Thank you all for tuning into this ceremony of welcome. For those of you whom I haven't met, I'm Lyle Rulofs, president of Berea College. Greetings to you, new Berea College students, new Bereans, as we like to refer to ourselves. We are glad to have you joining the community. This semester, our new Bereans come from 30 different states. Because of the pandemic, the 33 new international students we were expecting have all had to delay in joining us until January. Along with them, another 61 incoming students have chosen to defer, and some of them may be watching this welcome. You who have deferred, please know that we will be eager to welcome you to campus next semester. Along with tremendous geographical diversity comes other important dimensions of difference. Berea commits to be an inclusive community community fully welcoming to all, regardless of race, ethnicity, gender, gender identification, political orientation, religion, or any of the other differences that matter to our identities. We are excited to welcome you all to the community that we call our Berea. And because of that amazing diversity, no matter what your, is your individual identity, you'll have the opportunity here here to engage with amazing people a lot like you and with great folks who are very different from you. Special greetings as well to parents, family members, and friends of new students with us too. We understand how important and significant it is for you to have sent your son or daughter, brother or sister, or dear friend off to college, especially in a time with so much uncertainty. I know that along with any apprehension, though you are proud and excited about what your student will do with the amazing opportunity of these next four years. Based on my experience of bringing sons to college now some years ago, I know you are already missing him or her, but I can assure you too that there are many joys to come as you watch that special person enter a new phase of life. And don't worry, your son or daughter or brother or sister or friend will remain connected to you, even as they are now becoming members of this community, becoming Bereans. And we will be honored if you too, as family or friends of a Berea student, will consider yourself to be part of our community. Thank you again for joining us. We will get underway with an invocation offered by student chaplain Sean Mack and Sean will be followed by welcome messages from some key members of our community without further introduction. Please join me in prayer if you are comfortable. Dear Creator, the year 2020 has been quite the peculiar year thus far. This life-changing global pandemic has not only impacted the way we function in our daily lives, it has also forced the means we use to attain our goals to be modified. But because of the gifts of the Spirit, we are able to adapt and overcome any challenges that we may face. Amidst the challenges of COVID-19, Berea College is welcoming a group of talented new students to begin a new step in their academic career. These new Bereans have said their farewells and given their goodbye hugs to their loved ones. This process has almost certainly brought them a mixture of joy, fear, anxiety, and excitement. Loving God, I ask that you give these new students peace through knowing that you are with them, no matter what the next four months entail. Ever-present God, I ask that you allow their souls to be open to these new experiences that lie before them. Let their spirits be open to growth and to friendship. Bless our new students as they embark on a new journey at Berea College. Let them be open to new opportunities, challenges, and worldviews. Bless their loved ones, wherever they may be, and give these new students peace. 
through knowing that they are studying at an institution that has a vast support network to make sure this term will be safe, manageable, joyful, and full of new and exciting experiences. Amen. Thank you, Sean, for those words. Um, with all these uh, empty seats here, uh, I was thinking of asking President Ruloffs of maybe you know putting cardboard cutouts like they do in many of the baseball stadiums around the nation. Um, but he'd say that would take all the money in the uh, we have in the SGA budget. Still a good idea. Um, a few weeks ago when I told my mom I was writing a speech welcoming first year students, uh, she texted back in all caps, ooh, please tell that one story about you being accepted. And as they say, uh, always listen to your mother. It was my 18th birthday and I was about to leave for work and I remembered to check the mail, my daily chore. Well, I walk out there, I open it up and saw that white and blue envelope many of you received. Next thing I know, I'm sprinting back to the house completely barefoot, holding up to my mom, saying, Mom, I got into Berea. She was like, that's great. What's Berea? I said, it's, it's a school down south. Now, uh, you have to know, I was born and raised just down the road in uh, northern California, 2,000 miles away. A small town, 90,000 people. So to my mom, there's only one south. She looked at me and said, oh, Los Angeles? I said, oh, no, no, the, the other south, Kentucky. A few hours later into my shift, she calls me and says, I just Googled this place. Is that why you needed my tax returns a few months ago? You don't need anyone to tell you that what I did just there. Storytelling, it, it's an art. It's intentional. However, sometimes we need to be reminded that just as we are intentional about storytelling, Stressing emphasis and, and content and timing, which should be equally intentional, is story making. Or a synonym for story making is simply living. And I will tell you, the people I know who thrive and succeed here at Berea are the ones who collect stories and live their life like they're expected to turn in a rough draft for their autobiography next week. The same way you focus on acing your courses, doing your job, why don't you focus on that, story making? For example, for my first two years, I could tell you about me and my friend Romeo getting stranded out hiking in Ireland and the emotional journey back, or uh, more violently, the time our friend Joy, while rehearsing for the spring play, was shot in the face with a confetti cannon. We had plenty of ice and stage makeup, no worries. But the point is, to, to make these stories, you have to put yourself out there, traveling abroad, being involved in theater, or applying to a strange college 2,000 miles away. Also, while the examples I've given you are humorous, mostly, to be, I want you to remember to be open to the stories that hurt. The heartbreaks, the despairs, the Ds and the Fs, the lost connections, because they might happen. But keep walking on in life, knowing darn well you'll always have those good stories to return to. And most importantly, make sure you have people to make and tell stories with, because life is not a one-man show, and that's why they call what you make of yourself character. And if you happen to see me on the quad on some rainy day like this, and something insane happened in your GSTR 110 class, feel free to stop me from six feet away, and I'll be all ears to listen to your story, assuming I don't have a rehearsal to run to. With that being said, I welcome you all to Berea College and to a crazy family of 1,600 individual story makers, all making the best of it. Thank you.
Good afternoon. Like many of you watching today, I am a first-generation college student. I would have been the perfect Berea College student for many reasons. I grew up in my extended family with my grandparents and aunts as my primary caregivers. We were blessed enough to own our own home and have a garden and animals for sustenance, but we had very little money. I worked at Hardy's in high school, many times 40 hours a week, to purchase clothing and to pay my own expenses. I was an independent student when I entered college, so I could not count on my family for financial assistance. So I understand how many of you are feeling today. You are in a strange place with different people who will challenge you while supporting you at the same time. They will ask you to step outside of your comfort zone, and as Audre Lorde urges us, reach across the table of our differences to find common ground with those who may be different from you. You will work hard. Berea College provides you with a rigorous education, and we have high expectations for our students. But we will also provide you with lots of support and lots of care, and this place will become a home away from home for you. My life is a testament to the power of education. I left my small rural town in what was then rural North Carolina, and my life has never been the same. I loved college. I still love to read and learn, and so I continued my education until I earned a PhD. I would never have guessed so many years ago, more than I honestly want to think about, that this is where my path would lead. It was that beginning, that education, that brought me here today. Education provided me with opportunities to travel to Brazil and Ghana, Zimbabwe and South Africa, Paris and throughout the Caribbean. Know that this moment begins that path for you. At many colleges, they ask you to look to your left and to your right and then say that when you graduate, the person sitting beside you will not be there. But today, I ask you to look around where you are and look at the person sitting beside you. And if you see that person struggling on their Berea journey, lift that person up so that when you graduate, they will be beside you. That is the kind of community you are entering, lifting each other up on the dark and the difficult days and celebrating on the bright and the happy days. And finally, to the parents and friends and caregivers, know that we on this stage know how it feels to say goodbye to our beloved children. More than 13 years ago, I drove my eldest daughter to college in Hampton, Virginia, which is almost 10 hours away. Now, my daughter and I are basically the same person, so we argued all the way there, and when I left her, we were both relieved. But as I drove back home and entered the house without her, I was unable to contain the grief and sadness, and I began to cry as I understood that this was also the beginning of a new life for her without me at the center. So know that it is okay to feel that sadness, and still, you must let them go and find their own way. Also, in these particularly difficult and honestly frightening moments of a global pandemic, we know that there is extra worry and extra fear, and we understand that as well. We want your young people to be safe. And so while we understand that under normal circumstances, your young person would be challenging us by seeing how much they can get away with by pushing the boundaries that we have set for them, this is not the time to push boundaries. This is a time to be safe and to follow the rules of social distancing and mask wearing. None of us enjoy the mask and all look forward to the day when we can embrace each other as friends and colleagues. But until we have a proven vaccine in place, we will have to continue to abide by these difficult rules. So encourage your young person to follow the rules. Yes, for their own benefit, but also for the benefit of others in this community. In these trying times, we have to take care of each other. And try not to worry too much about your young person, as they will be different when they return to you. But know that the lessons that you have taught them will always be with them, and that they will always come back to a place of love. Welcome to Berea College.
Well, hello, class of 2024. In the title song by rapper Jack Harlow, was poppin'. That's also a discreet shout out to my student peeps from Louisville and the Pearson Nine I met yesterday. For those of you I did not get to meet during move in, I am Dr. Chanel Barber, Vice President for Student Life. And I stand before you as a first generation college graduate and a proud Berea College alum. Why am I so excited? Well, because this is the time of new beginnings. <laughs> so what? COVID came in like a wrecking ball and continues to dictate our lives. But as our Kentucky governor, Andy Brashear says, we'll get through this. We'll get through this together. And one of my go-to sayings is, life happens. And yes, it has happened. It is happening and will continue to happen, good or bad. And knowing that, I say to you, what will you do to turn this negative into a positive? I want you students to think on that for a second while I talk to your loved ones. To my parents, families, friends, loved ones and mentors, while this may seem like a scary time because your student is embarking upon new horizons it is an exciting time, a time of new horizons where these students start to learn who they really are, are challenged into becoming who they are destined to be, and will start to grow in ways unimaginable. Now, for you, parents, this is a time for you to breathe and know that you can now turn your child's bedroom into a man cave or is she shit? Okay, okay, I'm just joking. This is a time for all family members, mentors, counselors, and advisors to give support, but also to provide the opportunity for your student to show off what you have instilled in them to succeed. You've been waiting for this day. Now's the time to allow them to fly. Students, whether you've been working on the weekend like usual or sad because COVID invaded our lives, you must push upward and onward and look to your future at Berea. As the youngest out of oh so many kids my mom had and took care of, I really found my identity here at Berea College. Oh, the stories I could tell you. I could tell you how I changed my major so many times at Berea that Berea said, you either choose or take a staycation at your parents' house until you decide. I chose political science. I can tell you how I almost got suspended, allegedly, but no need to bore you with that. I have family members watching. And I can tell you how I enjoyed my four years here. I met my best friend, my bestie, over 30 years ago. And I have so many other memories, good and bad. What I'm saying is that forget about COVID impeding our lives because life happens. And right now, you're on the path to new horizons and new beginnings. So as I end, I leave you with this. You must ascend to higher heights, overcome, and win, 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 win. You know the rest. So welcome to Berea. Thank you.
Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Sylvia Sante, and I'm the Dean of Student Labor here at Berea. I'd like to say greetings to the parents, family members, well-wishers, faculty, staff, and the college community as a whole. I'd like to, uh, it gives me great pleasure to extend to you a warm Berea welcome. Welcome to parents and grandparents, sisters and brothers, extended family members, friends and well-wishers. We here at Berea, we are honored to share with you this journey on which you have undertaken at this time. We'd like to say that here at Berea, our students are required to work, and student work is deeply established in the history of Berea College since 1859. It is a model which has sustained for over 160 years. This work program has over 120 departments which provide valuable work experiences to our students, to you, the family members, we promise to support the growth and transformation of your teenier, teenagers while you gently guide and uphold Berea's fourth great commitment, which says to promote learning and serving in the community through the student labor program, honoring the dignity and utility of all work, mental and manual, and taking pride in work well done. To our faculty, we say thank you and welcome back as you deal with the many challenges in preparing for this new term. We appreciate your dedication to our student body while promoting accountability to your craft. Next, to the college community, we recognize, your we recognize you for serving, mentoring, and caring for our students and the college community at large. Finally, to our students, welcome home. Here at Berea, our students are scholars and workers, in addition to providing service to others in the community. Workplace expectations are used to guide the development and bonding of faculty, staff, and students, such as to value all people, act with integrity, work as a team, exhibit enthusiasm for learning, and celebrate work well done. In closing, I would like to quote R. Dent, and he noted that life must be used in service of a cause greater than oneself. Both former Congressman and civil rights leader John Lewis, a friend and supporter of Berea, and Reverend John Fee, visionary leader and founder of Berea, exemplified how to live a life of service greater than oneself. So we encourage you to join us on this incredible journey. Again, welcome to Berea and welcome home. Thank you, Sean, Brady, Provost Strong Leak, Dr. Barber, and Dr. Asante for those warm words of welcome. I've entitled my remarks for this afternoon, Being and Becoming Bereans. Being part of a community is an interesting thing because a community belongs to the individuals who are part of it and the individuals in turn belong to the community. The relationship runs both ways. In thinking about this, I'm reminded what Rudyard Kipling said about wolf packs in the Jungle Book. Here are the first two stanzas of Kipling's poem, The Law of the Jungle. Now, this is the law of the jungle, as old and as true as the sky. And the wolf that shall keep it may prosper, but the wolf that shall break it must die. As the creeper that girdles the tree trunk, the law runneth forward and back. For the strength of the pack is the wolf, 
and the strength of the wolf is the pack. The community of Berea is not a wolf pack. I'm sure you're glad about that. But I think Kipling has provided a very compelling image for the interrelationship of the individuals with the community they make up and how we Bereans are the strength of our community and how the community is in turn our strength. This will become more and more real to you in the four transformative years you are just embarking on. At Berea, we have long emphasized both being and becoming. We are intentional about the nature of our community and how every individual member has a place in it. That's the being. And as individuals in a learning community, we are thoughtfully evolving, responding to change, taking on new challenges, especially this year, and building an ever stronger community. That's the becoming. Every year at Berea is special, and welcoming every new cohort of Bereans to our community is also very special. But I'm sure you'll all agree that the year 2020 is special in some other ways, and not necessarily in good ways. I'm guessing that nearly everyone listening has experienced some trauma and loss as a result of the pandemic. Just the fact that we have to do this special ceremony virtually is another small disappointment. I would so prefer to be addressing you in person, looking out on a sea of excited faces, or as Brady suggested, maybe at least cardboard cutouts, and seeing if you smile or laugh if I say something a little funny or a little clever. We're also anticipating a fall semester at Berea that will be different from the usual in so many ways. You new Bereans do not have prior experience here to compare it to, but you will certainly think from time to time as we go through this semester that this isn't what you were thinking about uh, when you thought what would college be like. Almost none of us are familiar with the experience of living under strict constraints, which, even though they're undertaken voluntarily, are bound to feel irksome and confining. That brings me back to Kipling and the importance of community. Almost every adjustment we will be making throughout this semester is being done for the good of others in the community. When you wear a mask and practice social distancing, you are preventing others from being infected. Think about it this way. On a normal day at Berea, you would come in close contact with 50 or maybe even 100 other Bereans. If you are faithful about wearing the masks we have provided, then if you do get sick and don't even know it yet, you will not infect those 50 to 100 other people. Maybe your roommate will get sick, or if you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend, but we can deal with that. We cannot deal with one case turning into 50 cases. So wearing a mask and the other measures we are asking of you are your gift to the community in this challenging time. And the community supports you too. Learning and engaging around knowledge and personal growth is so very rewarding. And you will find this very supportive community to be a real blessing and source of strength and encouragement. In fact, I want you to make it your goal to be part of that encouragement. Build one another up. Encourage everyone around you. Stay positive about staying negative, that is, free from the COVID-19 infection. And then, when we get to the other side of this challenge, when normalcy returns, we will look back with justified pride about how much we were able to support one another and with satisfaction with how we learn so much about resilience and how a supportive community enhances that. I cannot wait for this new school year to get underway. If there ever was a year for being and becoming, this is it. And I'll repeat what Dr. Barber said because our Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir says it every day. We can do this. We can do this together. Thank you.
Would you pray with me? O oh, Holy One, for the blessing of these new students and their families, we give you thanks and praise. For the times these parents and families have had to intervene for their children, put themselves last for their children, make hard decisions about what's best for their children, for all the love they have given to them, we are truly grateful. O oh God of comfort, be with these families now. Give them strength and give them wisdom to know how to love and support their student as they send them off on this new journey. And now, class of 2024, a blessing for you as you begin your Berea adventure. May you have the curiosity and the determination to face the hard questions and the hard times of life. May you have humility when you do well and courage to get up and try again when you don't. May you have the physical strength to put one foot in front of the other and the tenacity to just get things done. May you have the spiritual awareness to recognize God's presence in the most ordinary of days and the grace to share light and love and joy with all you meet. Go forward now in the strength and the wisdom and the peace of the Creator who walks with you every step of the way. Amen.